Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. All right, guys, what's going on? Good morning. What's it is your boy Ooze back in once again for another um, manga reaction. Like, I just got done with Dragon Ball Super. Before that, I did a Death Note one shot. So, if you guys are coming from either of those videos, or if not, this is the first time you're checking me out. This is pretty much uh, the first time that I'm going to be starting to regularly do uh, manga reactions. And if this is something that you guys like seeing more out of for the, you know, the time being or for actually the foreseeable future, please let me know in the comments below because this is something that's fairly new. I haven't really done manga reactions. I used to do manga reviews, but normally since I always end up reviewing whatever it is that I'm, you know, watching or reading, um, it, I feel like it would probably be best to get reactions out and i like i said i end up reviewing them anyway and talking in depth about them so this is borzo chapter 45 defection um it's and even though it's only been a month i i don't really remember exactly what happened last month that well i know oh you know what i I turned the page and yeah okay I remember already so <laughs> there was a big fight with one of the the one of the Kata members um and we're going to be I guess learning a little bit more about Kata from oh wow okay you know what let me just <laughs> let me let me let me just start reading from the beginning okay so here we go <clears throat> every bit of intel I possess should be extremely beneficial to you if Konoha will accept my defection. I'll handle I'll hand it over to you without regret. And I'll release Shikadai too, of course. Now think carefully, but not too long. Time isn't on our side. Bastard, says Shikamaru. There's no way we can trust him. Hey, what's he mean by defect? Boruto says to Sumide. Oh, um, let's see. It's like when someone can't stay in their land or group any longer for some reason. So they seek protection from another land and escape to there. Ah, I see. So that means, that's what Boruto says. Yeah, I think this guy ran away from Kata. Don't know why yet, but it looks like he wants asylum in Konoha. Maybe he, his life is at stake. Okay, and Bord says he ran from Kata. <clears throat> and then Kawaki goes, Amado's betrayed Kata? I don't get it. What the heck is going on? So this is Amado uh, that was speaking at first. Bor uh, Naruto's kind of concerned. Fine, I'll hear you out. Sigh, restrain Amado and take him to my office. We'll interrogate him there. Shikamaru's like, what the hell? It's like, whoa, Naruto, are you serious? Naruto's like, it's our only choice if we want to save Shikadai. We don't have time to think. We'll decide whether he's trustworthy or not after listening to what he has to say. I mean, come on now, Shikamaru. That's your dad, that's your son, bro, that he freaking got. So Alright, good good on Naruto for not even hesitating to try and save his to save Shikamaru's son. Alright. So you've steeled yourself for the worst. And for just a single genin, impressive. You know this, but I'll say it just in case. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. It won't end well for either of us. Amaya goes, no problem. Don't worry, you won't regret this. I promise. Damn, everyone's like kind of like scared. And she could die just like freaking like dead on the ground right now. Ooh, who's this? This is a Kata member. So it looks like we're back at Kata. Oh, my alarm. Sorry, guys. I was trying to wake up at this time, but I woke up a lot earlier than I thought. Let me just make sure all this is turned off. Okay, good. Oh, so he's right outside the cage that they have that Biju. No problems here. Other than me dying from boredom. Glad to hear that. I don't know, but Konoha is aware of that place. So don't let your guard down. So this is Jigen warning uh, this other member who I don't know his name right now. 
Roger, has Boro made his scheduled contact? Not yet. It seems something's happened. Perhaps Uchiha Sasuke made an appearance. You stay and keep watch here. Crackle, crackle. Yes, sir. Okay. So then Jigen disappears. Or actually, long time no see. What of your mission? And here come all. <sighs> you guys already know. Kajin Koji's on my screen. It's still in progress, Lord Jigen, even as we speak. Sit. Give me your report. Back to Konoha. Okay, so they already got this man a model and like restraints restraints right now. Damn, but I want to see more Kajin Koji. I want to see what that report is. Okay, come on. Let me have a smoke, will ya? It's a long story. I'd like to clear my head before I start. Shikamaru goes, don't push your luck. Be grateful that you're even sitting in a chair. And Mato goes, did I not explain earlier? Shikamar says, be grateful that you're even sitting in a chair. Did I not explain earlier that restraining me is meaningless? If you want, I can blow up Shikadai's head right now. My God. Ooh, so Shikamaru like, yo, he put this man up against the wall. You, I'll rip you in half. Oof. Naruto, stand down, Shikamaru. What's that gonna accomplish? This isn't like you. Hey, man, as soon as you start involving people and their freaking kids, like, it doesn't matter, like, if it's not like them. Like, it's 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 paternal, dog. Come on now. Hurry up and get to the point before my patience reaches its limit again. Dude, Shikamaru, angry Shikamaru over his son is best Shikamaru. For reals. Hmm. When it comes to your son, you're just a father. Hmm. The the ex general in you would be disappointed. That's enough, Naruto says. My patience won't last forever either. Boruto says, "What's up with him? Does he actually plan to talk? I bet you this is all a trap." Kawaki goes. Amato is the head of Kata's research and development division. It wouldn't be exaggerating to say he knows everything about Kata. Jigen has never granted him to him leave to go out. So him just being here is an act of treason. That'll incur Jigen's wrath. I bet Amado has come prepared to die. That's how I see it. Boruto looks at him. <clears throat> Alright, head of R&D. Does that mean... He's the one who remodeled your body. That's right. And not just me. All of Kata's cyborgs are his handiwork. So they're known as cyborgs. Okay, that's that's a bit of news. Uh interesting. And then the doctor's like, wow, so he's the one he's the one, the genius scientist. If his defection gets approved, I'd love to have him exert his skills at my laboratory. Doc says Sumire, but it would be to Kawaki's benefit too, I know, but what the heck are you plotting, Amato, says Kawaki, Naruto says, okay, start sharing that intel of yours, even just one part of it is fine, whether we approve your asylum request or not comes after, Amato goes, you're coming on strong, Lord Hokage, do you want Shikadai to die, Naruto says, you wouldn't do such a thing, there's no way, because if you did, we'd break off negotiations and you'd die. I don't think you'd risk that. Mato says, I have nowhere to go if Kanoha rejects me. Even if I manage to get away from here, I won't be able to escape Jigen. So I'm dead either way. You'll accept my demands no matter what. Naruto says, I still want to hear your story first. Don't worry, I won't pull a dirty trick like betraying you after you talk. I give you my word as Hokage. Okay, so now everyone's like looking. Hiyomaru goes, Hokage, huh? Hmm, fine. Here goes. Oh, okay, now we go back to Jigen and freaking, oh, dude. Okay, and back to Kash and Koji. So they're sitting at a chair looking at each other. Jigen goes, I don't see Kawaki with you. It's unheard of for you to return empty-handed. 
He's fallen into Kon Konoha's hands and under the Hokage's watchful eye, a situation I embarrassingly cannot intervene in easily. So I chose to observe from a distance, but, frankly, I didn't believe my eyes when you suddenly appeared in front of Kawaki. Jigen silent. Gajin Kogi goes, You tasked me with retrieving Kawaki, however... You hid that you could have extracted him yourself at any point. I'd like to hear from from you why. Oh, the question to a question. Is that odd for me to have t you go fetch a parcel that I could reclaim whenever I wanted? And then Jigen goes, in my, opin in my opinion, this current situation all stems from the airship's crash landing. That was the direct cause of Kawaki's breakout. First of all, that was no accident. Close up on Jigen, uh, uh, Kash and Koji's eyes. Someone attacked the airship in transit and deliberately caused it to crash, feigning an accident. Oh, you think it might have been Kash and Koji? That's news to me. Wherever did you hear such a thing? Don't play dumb. This is a prime opportunity for us to drop all pretenses and talk. Kashin Koji. And here goes a frog chilling right next to Kashin Koji. I don't think Jigen can see it. And now we're going back to the freaking the intel. God. All right. So Amato's like, you may already know this, but Jigen is an Otsutsuki. Oh, huh? he's an Otsutsuki. I don't know if that's true. Oh, Sasuke's here. Or rather, he became an Otsutsuki. Oh, okay. Well, how the fuck, what? He originally was an ordinary human, just like us. I like how Sasuke literally came out of nowhere, though. Like, he was like, he's right behind them right now. Shikamaru was like, what? And then Amado's like, let me start by explaining exactly who and what the Otsutsuki are. They are invaders from another planet. To put it plainly, they are alien parasites. Perhaps a bit oversimplified, but it should suffice for now. Alien parasites. They have but one goal, to devour the life of a planet. That's the only reason why they come and then leave for another planet. What the heck? So now the world of Naruto has officially gone... On a universal scale. Like, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Naruto goes, what do you mean by devour the life of a planet? As in, how do they do it? And then Mara goes, via endlessly annoying gardening? They plant a divine tree in the ground. An enormously large tree... Its roots grow deeply, reaching every corner of the planet, just like the mold in your bathroom. And it sucks the chakra from all life living on that planet. Oh, my. Shukumaro says, sucks the chakra from all life. So then what happens to us? Everyone will die, naturally. It's like a giant mosquito sucking all of the blood in your body. All life will end without a single exception. Holy shit, dude. This is crazy. Like, we just got the actual truth about Otsuzuki. But if you think about it, aren't Naruto and Sasuke, like, direct? Like, like they're, they're the lineage. They come from these aliens. So technically, technically, Boruto and Naruto are... Or Saiyans. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just playing. I was just playing. But, you know, that is kind of crazy that it is now on that kind of a level where they're, they're technically, like, not even... F they're not even Earthlings. That's pretty sick. Well, whatever. Let's keep going. These alien parasites, why would they do such a thing? Because of what happens next. Once the divine tree is finished absorbing everything, it will bear a large fruit. Sasuke goes, the chakra fruit. That's right. The chakra fruit are lumps of tremendous energy and genetic information. Otsutsuki continuously update them. Update themselves by eating them. That's how their species evolves. What? 
That is totally fascinating, says the doc. And Boris was like, I can't believe this excites you. Uchiha Sasuke, have you been there to that place? He asks him. And Sasuke's like, what do you mean? And he's like, no need to play dumb. You ought to have learned its coordinates from the airship's data. That place that can only be reached using space-time ninjutsu. Sasuke was like, don't tell me you. Yeah, I planted it there in a way that would be easy for you all to find. I wanted you to know about him ahead of time. Oh my god. Sasuke's like, da-da-da. And then Sasuke's like, that Otsutsuki, the shape of the horn is similar, but w that wasn't Jigen. So who is he? And then Omada was like, hold up. There's a proper sequence to this. Since it's a complicated story, let's take it step by step. If you did go there, you should have seen that Jigen possesses a ten tails. Oh my god. Yo, this is crazy. It's a, it's a different specimen than the one you battled. Unfortunately, I don't know where this one came from. But Otsutsuki always utilize a ten tails when they assault a planet. For it is ten tails that becomes the divine tree ten tails is the seedling what the heck first they plant first they plant ten tails in the ground it grows into the divine tree consumes the planet and eventually bears the chakra fruit once they harvest the fruit they no longer need that planet they move on to another planet and repeat the same process. That's Otsutsuki for you. Yikes. This is so big. I can't keep up. That's like every one of us reading that, like from Boruto's point of view right now. That's what he just said. Naruto goes, you said a few things that bother me. But anyway, so now it's Jigen who's trying to do this to our planet as we speak. Sasuke goes, no, I don't think so. Naruto goes, Sasuke. It's whoever put karma on Jigen, I bet. <gasps> what? Karma? Sasuke goes, so you said Jigen was originally an ordinary human. He became an Otsutsuki because of the karma, right? Our model goes, very perceptive, perceptive of you, Uchiha Sasuke. You're on the right track. What's that supposed to mean, says Boruto? Sasuke goes, talk. What exactly is the karma? Omaro goes, yes. Everything I've already said is just the preface. The important part starts now. And we're literally... Oh my god, we're almost done. Uh-oh, he got a beep boop on his, on his glasses. Hold on. I'm getting a transmission from a colleague. Of course they're stalling. Nanta goes, what? Sorry, Shikamaru. Could you put my glasses along one edge of the table and aim them towards the wall? Excuse me? Don't worry. I truly want these negotiations to go well, so hurry up and do as I say. Naruto goes, Shikamaru. Shikamaru looks. He does it. <sighs> takes his glasses off. Tink. Puts them on the ground. And then a projection goes onto the wall, so he's not lying. Naruto goes, what the? Something's pro Something's projecting on the wall, says Boruto. Oh, shit, it's Jigen. Oh, it's the conversation with Kash and Koji. Okay, it's no use playing innocent, Kash and Koji. Okay, so yeah, well, now they're listening in. Kash and Koji, Konohamaru mentioned him in his report. You conspired with Amado to crash that airship in order to allow Kawaki to escape. And then Kash and Koji is silent. And then he goes, that mask, that's the guy who tried to kill us, says Boruto. And Kawaki goes, Kashin Koji, let me escape? What the heck? And then... It's starting to line up, boys! Amario says, Kashin Koji is one is my one and only collaborator within Kata. He is sharing what his scout toad is seeing in real time. So the toad is giving him the transmission. That is OD. What? But, but how? Naruto goes... This is live footage? Where are they? Amado goes, just keep watching. Jigen goes, I want you to know, Koji. 
I have no intention of reprimanding you for letting Kawaki escape. That's Jigen. Jigen. So that's him, says Borto. Jigen goes, I want, I want to know your motives, both yours and Amato's. For what gain do you rise up against me? That's what I'm interested in. Kajin Koji is silent. Jigen goes, I thought all of the inner collectively agreed on obtaining the chakra fruit. So what do you get from trying to destroy that plan? Kajin Koji, you pretend to be collected, but you aren't able to hide your raged breath. And Jigen goes, what? Uh oh. Oh, I think Kajin Koji threw some 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 kun some shuriken. And Jigen Jigen just out of there. <gasps> no! Freaking Yo, he stabbed him like right through the neck from the back. Oh my god. Kajin Koji freaking uh, coughs off blood, falls to the ground. Jigen goes, I won't kill you right away. You'll spill everything first. <gasps> it was a shadow clone. It disappeared. He's like, a shadow that up again, How cheeky. And then Kajin Koji goes, my motive is simple. Jigen turns around. Kajin goes, I have no interest in the chakra fruit from the very beginning. I was created to kill you. Oh, and that's the last, the last page. God damn. Okay. All right, this chapter is wow. That shit was wild. Okay, so we learn we now officially know Kashin Koji's actual goal. We know that he wants to kill Jigen. That is the entire reason why he is doing everything that he's doing. Everything he's been working with Amato so far. Amato has revealed a lot of really good stuff. And we now have a bigger scope on the entire universe of Naruto and Boruto. Basically, all of this, everything that we're seeing, we literally only got half of the story, it seems, right? With, you know, the chakra fruit and, I mean, more importantly, the freaking tree that basically started it all right and we 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 were told that you know it starts with that otsutsuki blah 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 and then it, you know everything stems down from the otsutsukis with the the sage of the six pass and then we pretty much like like that chakra tree that that's where the chakra is from right but realistically i don't know like because like it, it all that all the chakra stuff starts with the otsutsukis and then the otsutsukis pretty much started branching off and like you know having their own kids and like all that stuff get, gets passed down and that's how we have this ninja world that we have today you know with involving all this crazy jutsu and the chakra and everything like that comes from this but to learn that the otsutsukis literally do this on multiple planets and th it, this is beyond a global scale kind of thing that they're actually aliens like they're they're holy like that means that they're probably not even just from the moon they might be from somewhere completely different and their entire goal is to literally just like basically plant a ten tails which is literally the seedling to the chakra tree <laughs> like what and then the tree makes the freaking chakra fruit once it absorbs all of the 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 planet's um energy and then but see what the one thing is and they have to explain more about this obviously because a model's not even done with his full explanation is simply that what happens when they eat the chakra fruit i mean they, they said like this is how they're constantly evolving and all that kind of thing but it's just like what happens if they don't do it like do they just start to fade and classify themselves and classify themselves as obsolete, or like, well, how does that work? Because it's like you have to think like, how for how long have they been doing this for, and like, how many other planets had th had this taken place on, and like, what kind of like it makes me wonder like all these things and. And if there's any other planets that they're doing this at the same time, like if it's just if they just do one planet at a time, like there's so many things that I want to know. And this story has literally just become more heat on top of heat. And the fact of the matter is, is that my man Kashin freaking Koji, who I still want to believe is a vessel, at least of Jiraiya, if not actually Jiraiya, hiding behind that mask, 
literally there is so many unanswered questions about him if you guys have not seen my theory video explaining why i believe kashin koji is jiraiya please go ahead and check it out but as we find out more things about this whole situation and if they end up in a little bit of a tussle and that mask decides to actually freaking fall off we actually might get to see if that is jiraiya or not because he did say right here i was created to kill you so this kind of leans us in the direction that this actually might be some sort of a vessel of Jiraiya with all of his abilities and, you know, the, the, the jutsu that he's been able to do has a connection with the toads and whatnot. So with that all in mind, him saying I was created to kill you literally might just be like... You know, like, I wonder who actually created all of these folks. And plus, like, the, the whole thing with the karma is like, you know, because like Sasuke kind of confirmed it right there. He goes, Jigen's not the one that's behind real, realistically all of this. It's like, who's the one that planted the karma in him? So I'm wondering if whoever did that created Kata as a whole to, you know, to, to do all this stuff that's going on right now. So, I mean, and they probably did it all because they figured, well, since Naruto and Sasuke defeated, um, what the hell, Kaguya, right? Kaguya it seemed to be, like, the first being ever, you know, right, to, like, start this whole process on this planet. But now that we know that that's what they do, was it Kaguya? Was it another Otsutsuki? you know, within that family that, you know, created Kata so that way, you know, later on down the road, they could try all of this again and, you know, start to reclaim all of the Earth's energy so that way they can have their fruit since, you know, they weren't going to try anything so soon right after Kaguya was defeated because, you know, you know, Naruto and Sasuke right then and there are the strongest ninja in the whole planet. So there was not going to mess with that at all. I mean, they kind of tried it with the last movie, the last, right, where they do fight on the moon, um, and Naruto fights against another Otsutsuki, but, you know, that's, this is, this is all crazy, there's so much going on that I need to know, um, and I, and I, I hope, I hope no hiatus takes place with this chapter, or with this series, you know, chapter 46 next month, hopefully, when it comes out on the 20th, is going to be fire, this, this, this arc right now, is actually it, it is insane like so many things I, I need to know but guys let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below please let me know all of your thoughts what you think about kash and koji this update to this could still possibly at least be jiraiya's vessel that we are looking at right now he might not have memories but that's another thing entirely in itself this is all up to discussion let me know what you think about Jigen, the Ten Tails, the, the, the truth about the Otsutsuki, where they come from, the fact that this whole story, this, this, this ninja universe that we have learned about has now, be, has now grown on a galactic and universal scale now that they, they, they're now involving like, not, like kind of like space travel in a sense. And I wonder also where that place actually was. I wonder if it was actually on another planet without them realizing it because they've been using like space-time jutsu. But what if we take that that literal space-time? What if we take that for actually what it sounds like? What if this jutsu actually and they don't even realize it is traveling is literally the easiest way to go between different spaces, you know, in time. And, like, Sasuke could be going on another planet for all we know. Anyone that has this type of power, this kind of power, literally could have been doing that without even realizing it, thinking, like, oh, they're in another dimension. But realistically, they're actually just going to another fucking planet, and they don't even realize it. And, and, it, and it does kind of make sense, because if we're, to, if, we're, if, we're, if we're thinking about all this, and Otsutsuki start, I know, I know I'm trying to wrap up the video, but the, like, there's these things that just come to my mind. I have to get this out there. But like we're thinking, like Otsutsuki, right? Otsutsuki started Kaguya, boom. She started it. She had her sons, right? The Hagamoro and uh, I forget the other one, right? Like a lot, a lot of crazy names, right? The Sage Six Pass, right? Then he has his sons. So essentially, the lineage all starts from Otsutsuki. 
theoretically, the ninja world, the, some of the majority, all come from Kaguya. So, the, especially the, the ninja, if, if we see characters with chakra right now, right, that, are able, that have these ninja skills, especially Sasuke, Naruto, Boruto, Sarada, like, all these characters, they directly come from these motherfuckers. So, what does that mean? That means that it would make sense for a character like Sasuke to literally have this dojutsu that allows him to tra to do space time. And if he is going to other planets without even realizing it, then that is fucking crazy. This shit just got real. I'm done. Let me know what you guys think about all this and more in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. I'm trying to talk more Boruto and Naruto stuff with y'all because this shit just got out of control. This is crazy. We need some space pods. We need some sensu beans. It's going down. Get the Dragon Balls. Get the Seven Scrolls. It's going down. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Description has all the links to further support your boy in these tough times. Whew. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Have a good one. May the power protect you. Stay, Keep it right here, locked and loaded, on the Uchi Games channel. Stay clean, stay fresh, stay positive, and stay inside. I will see y'all next time.